Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I am in a video hop with some amazing crafty friends and the theme for the month of February is friendship. Absolutely love that. This is a collaboration of several YouTube hops and I will have them linked in the description box below. So please do check everyone out and see what friendship theme they are creating. And if you'd like to join, please reach out to Cecilia and she is listed in the description box below as well. I can't think of anything better when I think of friends than crafty friends. So my card today that we're going to build together, and I'll show you the sample that was also made, is with the Pink and Main Crafty Pals. This is one of the cutest sets. Stole my heart when I saw it being released, so that's what we're going to be using today. Here is one of the sample cards. It's going to look a little different on the second one, as I had a second idea when I was putting this one together. So here is it is very crafty, very cute, and very crittery. One thing, if you've been following me for a while, either here on YouTube or over on Instagram, is you'll know that I love bright, cheerful colors and cute little critters. And it is one of my favorite things to craft with. So here you go, a little bit of column A and a little bit of column B. This is absolutely adorable. So here is the entire set and matching dies. And you'll always know that it's a pink and main set because it has their signature bright pink colors. So here is the set, set that off to the side. And then again, here is the beautiful card that I created, including the background. The background was a lot of fun. I did use those Pink and Main water gems. These are the sparkling watercolors, and they are just so bright and so vivid and so amazingly sparkly. Here is one of the blue ones. Hopefully you can catch some of that shimmer and the sparkle. Here's another one using some pinks and a little bit of yellow and the citrine, the orange. Let it blend together. You can see that there. Isn't that gorgeous? I had an idea to stamp some florals on here, die cut that out, or even maybe a butterfly or a dragonfly. Y'all know I love my dragonflies. <laughs> and this is the pink one. I used all pink colors. There you go. Those are the water gems. Love love these. Definitely a great investment. So I'll be playing with those throughout the entire year. So here it is, the gorgeous little unicorn sprinkling some glitter. Glitter fixes everything. I put a little stitched heart there and I love this one. You all know how much I absolutely love to paint. So I had to put that little paintbrush in there. And then it says crafty friends are the best friend. And on the inside, it's stamped with love and on the back it has my little signature. So we are going to make one a little bit similar and a little bit different. One thing I love are my scraps. I keep almost all of my scraps because you know, I mean, this has a great purpose at somewhere at some point I knew I was going to use this again. So I had an idea to use some hearts and do a little bit of a cutout. Kind of a nod towards Valentine's, which is in just a couple of days. And then, oh, here is the background for this one. Just in case you're wondering what I used, it is the Sunny Studio Stamps. What is the official name for this? Frilly Frames. Oh my goodness, Frilly Frames. Say that three times fast. <laughs> so there is a center to this as well, and I'm sure it's on the table from another project, but that's the frame that I used here. And then these are the inside outside stitched dies. And I also brought my breakfast, y'all. I have some conchita palmeritas just in case because it has been a rough 24 hours. I needed a little something something. So here is the next card. I have all the pieces and I had to use my infinity dies from Hero Arts. These are my favorites. I will absolutely love these until I stop crafting. They are amazing. They're durable. They're fantastic. They've been with me for a long time. As you can see here, I just love them. So that's what I am using for this little panel here. If you haven't guessed it by now, we are going to make a little peekaboo window. I love, love that. So I'm going to use the other critters that are in this little um, stamp set. And I do believe there's five. One, two, three, four, five different little cuties that you can use. The one with the glue, the paintbrush, the stamp, the scissors, and of course the glitter. So we're going to be using two more of those. I'll leave this one right here just in case you want to see that one while we are talking and working. 
The idea behind this hop is to, of course, incorporate friendship as well as just really bring new things to the table and um, craft along with you because it's a lot of fun to learn new techniques and tips from crafty friends and of course sometimes just have fun. That's always my theme whenever I'm hosting a hop or whenever I'm hosting uh, anything over on Instagram is I always stress to everyone there's no drama. There is no drama allowed and I want everyone to have a good time. It doesn't matter if you just started crafting yesterday and uh, you have limited supplies everyone is always welcome and i just really love to bring that home that you know, everyone should have fun when they're in this uh paper crafting community gotta be nice to each other and the friendships are long lasting i'm still in contact with many of the friends that i made when i first started crafting so i really really love that look how simple that was that was so 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 easy and then I thought that I would put this on a pink base. And the reason for that is to pull from these colors. This blue here, I wish it had been a little lighter blue, almost like a closer to a teal. Probably this color here, that would have been perfect. Absolutely perfect. But you know, sometimes hindsight is 2020. <laughs> so I'm going to put this here just like that. Now I do tend to build my bases first. I absolutely love to have my uh, base done. You know what? I'm gonna use some glue. This one here is from scrapbook.com. I love this glue, love. This is my second bottle and I'm gonna keep going strong. There's another one on the market, which I will not say the name of, that clogs every single time. I have bought so many bottles and spent so much money on that other bottle of glue that I just said I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to buy what I like and what works and what I'm happy with. And this one, definitely, I recommend it. Love, love that glue. And of course, it is a fraction of the price. So there you go, my friends. Just like that. And what I like to do also is just set this down for a quick second and let that do its magic. And then come back in and work on another part that I can work on just to save a little bit of time. Put the lid back on that. I am using also Memento Tuxedo Black and I did use my all to new little teeny tiny one to cut out these small dies because they work. Oh, those cookies, I call them my name. <laughs> So we'll put that to the side. This should be setting very nicely. Make sure it is nice and straight. It looks straight enough for me. I'm gonna trim a little bit off of the bottom when I'm done. So what I'm gonna do is kind of keep along the same lines here. Let's switch that around. You can see here they are a little bit different. Actually, they're a lot bit different. And then continue using the pieces that I have already pre-cut out and then colored some of these because I thought it would be super cute to try and use all of these little pieces. And somewhere in here should be the little scissors. There we go. This is my like little surprise basket whenever I have pieces that I'm working on or pieces that were cut out from something else. I don't want to throw them out. I just keep them in my little basket here. Like this one here and here. I thought that would be really cute and this little circle. So I keep those for another project. So all right, I thought this is where when I was building this one, I thought this would be a cute idea is to have a cutout. And the reason for that is because this little cutie has some scissors. So since there are scissors involved, I thought it'd be really cute to put on a little heart shape there. And um make it look like he's cutting out the little heart. So my friends, it is Super Bowl weekend. My daughter's coming by in a little while and she said something about having a Super Bowl party and I said I had not planned <laughs> to have a Super Bowl party, but if you wanna have one and you wanna have it here, knock yourself out. I think it's gonna be uh, pretty fun. I know most people are probably tuning in this time because we've got a little Taylor Swift going on there. So I know that's gonna be exciting. I think it's so funny that everyone is like, what time does uh, 
from <laughs> Taylor Swift Super Bowl start. Oh my goodness. All right, so this is a great way to use up little small pieces of scraps. You guys know how much I love using my little scraps, right? I just mentioned that here as well. So anytime you have little pieces like this, get creative, think outside the box and really just see how you can use those. Maybe the card idea will come specifically from this. That's what happens with me is I don't plan this and then go looking for the paper. I see the paper and I start to wonder how can I use this? Or I'll see the stamped image and I'll say, how can I use this in a creative way? And the idea of the cutout comes to my mind. So maybe it's just the way my brain works, but <laughs> that's how I craft. And often I craft in chaos. <laughs> it comes to me as I'm going along. So here is that adorable little kitty cat with the scissors. And I thought it would look like he's cutting out this little section here but not quite cover up the heart all the way. So let's put it, how about right there? A little bit off to the side. And that is my sweet little dog, just in case you hear it. And here's the glue. This is that little cute little bear. Looks like a little puppy maybe, maybe a puppy. I think that might be a puppy. So we'll have a kitty cat and a puppy on the same card. Yeah, it must be because if you look over here, here is the little bear. All right, so we're gonna take this off. I might have to put a little bit of glue on the back of this one. This looks like it got stuck to something at some point. Oh, there we go, got it off, no biggie. And then this one will go down here I like things to be a little bit wonky. I think it's so cute when you see them slightly off to the side. So this one we'll save for another time. And then this one definitely needs the glue. I'm stuck on you, so that one will go here. Right there, that'll be really, really cute. And these do look kind of um, simple, I realize that, but that's okay. Sometimes simple is good. I think I'm going to leave the heart off of this one since we have the heart background here. And then crafty friends are the best friends, or maybe I'll come back in and use... This one looks a little bit wonky. I think it probably could have used another base. So if you can see here, it's like slightly smaller. So you know what I'm going to try and do? Let me see if I can squeeze this under there as a small little, like to lift it up a little bit more, give it a little more dimension. Let me see if that will work. <laughs> this is a creative way to use that small little heart. Let me see if that'll work. There you go. Now it's almost flat. It's almost straight. So stick that out just a little bit. So we're thinking outside the box really quickly. There we go. And then I will set, uh, let's see, let's put this on there just to let it dry a little bit. Let me see if there's a sentiment that'll work a little bit better in this set. So if that is the scissors one, and I remember what the sentiments say in here. So we've got crafty friends are the best friends. Let me see. And this one says glitter. Glitter fixes everything stamped with love and I'm stuck on you. Okay, so there actually isn't one that goes with the scissors. So that's okay. All right, we will use crafty friends are the best twice. So we'll use this one a second time because it's the truth, right? Crafty friends are the best friends. So I'm just using some foam tape here to kind of give it a little more of a pop and then just cutting it down to the sizes that I need, which is, let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. Little pieces on the back goes a long way. And let's see, this size here. I usually just have a big foam roll and I cut it down to size as needed, but I am out of my big wheel. <laughs> I call it the wheel. I always buy that from Altenew and I ran out. So I had to make a Dollar Tree run and get the Dollar Tree, which again, I have 
no issues with this one. I actually love it. That's popping up again. So here we go. Crafty friends are the best friends. Indeed they are. So we'll put this one right there. So kind of hang a little bit. So cute. Sometimes it looks like it needs a little something, some sequins, some little jemmies, but I plan to put these in the mail. So I'm going to leave them kind of minimalistic. It has the little colors from here, the colors from around. And then of course, these ones I think are just so cute. Oh, that might work. That looks adorable, right? We could put a little heart there. And that would be cute. Put a little heart. Unfortunately, it's not the right color. So I will definitely go back and add a little heart onto this one. I think that'd be really cute. Put it right there. And I just literally put it underneath again. <laughs> I just put it right there. Okay, so we'll leave that to dry for a quick second. And then I'm going to share with you what I love to do. Right when I am almost done with my cards, I like to make sure that I have a little something something on the inside. So as you can see here, I have the inside as well. And this one says stamped with love and I love to leave it uncolored. I don't know why on the inside, I don't usually carry over the coloring to the inside of the card. I just leave it uncolored and just like that. So for this one, I am using the mini Misty because I've had it out already. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue with this one and do a little stamping on the inside. You can see there, love, love that makes stamping so much easier and move it over just a teeny bit more and I just left it in here from the previous stamping which is so convenient <laughs> so there we go I'm gonna stamp it out really quickly with some again some memento and let me remove this if I was willing to bet that would probably be and all of her hair. Everything here is created with just a little bit of cat hair. And then for this one, I'm just gonna press down lightly and not rub it back and forth because that little sentiment there will move sometimes when you do that. This time it is absolutely perfect just the way it is. So I'm stamping it down lightly, just like that, pressing down just a little bit. And I love the font. I love, love the font that Pink and Main captured with these sentiments. If you can see here, it has a little bit of cursive. So I love, love that. I've had some stamps in the past that were teeny tiny and really hard to read. When you stamp them out, they get kind of that, um, what do you call it? Um, they get that, almost like they blur a little bit. So for this part, I'm going to use the glue once again staying almost up to the corners but not too close to the edge just in case you get a little seepage and put this on the inside all right so this is going to be the inside of our cart you know what I did not do I just realized I did not measure this <laughs> I did not measure this at all, so I hope this is the right size. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my goodness. Before I usually measure these just for this purpose to make sure that I didn't use the wrong size die, it ends up being bigger than the actual size of the card. Yes, I have actually done that before. So there you go. If you want to be creative, you can always use a stamped image on the inside as well. That would be really, really cute but normally I don't. So I'll go ahead and hang on to this one and put all of these little friends together on another card another time. And then the last thing that I do, hopefully this works. If it doesn't, you just cover it up, is I put my little signature stamp on the back. And this is just one actually that is a gift from a friend. She sent it to me and I love it. It doesn't have my name on it, but that's okay. You can see there, it didn't come out so great. However, you can always cover that up. There's my name and a little heart. And my friends, that is card number two that we just created together. It didn't take long at all. And these are two cards that I'll be able to put in the mail for some crafty friends because we are celebrating friendship. And I am super grateful 
for each and every one of you. Thanks so much for watching our video. We will be back in March with another one and I'll be on time for that one. <laughs> and make sure you definitely check out everyone in the hop and see what they have created. It is such a beautiful and wonderful blessing to, blah, 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 to celebrate this beautiful paper crafting and creative journey with all of you in this super fun crafty community all right my friends i hope whichever team you're rooting for today is the one for you in the winner and my friends i will see you on my next video thanks so much for watching Bye bye